Hello, this is Gio, and this is a four-way light switch, and one of the switches ha has been giving me some problems. It's this one right here, and it controls this uh, little light strip right here, and I'll, I'll show you what's, fun, what's happening. So I'm going to turn it on. It kind of flickered, but then it's off. I kind of push down a little bit on it, and it's back on. I kind of lift up. Hold on, let me try this again. I turn on. You can see it's kind of a loose switch, and sometimes it's on, sometimes it's not. Let's try one more time. Yeah, it kind of flickered, and then I just push down on it, and it's back on. So it's a little bit, uh, it's an old switch, and I kind of don't feel confident about it. It's, uh, it's not really making contact very well. So I'm going to be replacing this switch right here, and it's actually uh, it's a dual switch. So this and this switch are one little uh, component, and then this this these two switches are another component. But I'll show you that when I open it up, and I'll show you how to swap out one of these for a new one. So I went ahead and purchased a new switch. This is a double switch uh, combination two switch from uh, Levton here, and I'll open up the box for you. Okay, so here's what the switch looks like. There's the, right now it's off, on, off, on. And you have a couple of black terminals and a couple of gold terminals. Now the black terminals will typically be connected to your black wire. So you usually have black, white, and a green um, ground wire. So the black wires are typically the hot wires, the white wires are the neutral wires. The white, all the white wires should probably be all kind of connected together and those actually go directly to your light without going through the switch. The black ones actually are connected to your switch and the switch controls um, the current uh, from the hot wire, not the white wire. And then uh, the gold ones will go to your, to your light switch. And so at your light switch, um, it will hit the white wire and come back through here. So that's how it works. Now this is an old house, and so I suspect that we may not even see any black or white wires here. It's probably all old knob and tube wiring, and so they might just be fabric wrapped kind of grayish wire. So uh, we'll open this up and see what we see. But just looking at this right away, you got four different switches. I suspect it's gonna be a lot of wires in there, pretty complicated. So um, before we start, we're gonna turn off the power, not only the power to this light, but also make sure that the power for all these are uh, off as well. Because if they have different feeds, instead of just one wire coming in here feeding everything, they have different feeds, they may be on different circuits. So uh, you wanna make sure that all, all, these, all the power is off to all these elements. So we'll go ahead and turn off the power and come on back. Okay, so I did turn off the power and I have some uh, some lighting here from a uh, different, different power source. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove the face plate. Now this is an old house. If you have a newer house, you don't have to worry about this, but you can kind of see old paint kind of stuck to this face plate, plate. And I don't want to remove this face plate and have a lot of paint peel away. So I'm just going to take a little uh, blade here and cut around the face plate to make sure that there's no paint kind of stuck to it. So when I remove the face plate, it'll come off nice and clean. Okay, so next I just take a flathead in this case and take off these screws that are holding the face plate down. and carefully take the face plate off. And there you go. The first thing I'm gonna do is just test with a, a tester to make sure that everything is turned off. Okay, this little light should light up if there's any hot wires going on or hot connections. So all the power is off, so that's good. And you could also already tell that there's some loose, these aren't really in there all that tight. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm probably going to look at this later, but this is the one I'm having problems with, so I'm going to take this one out, off. And in this case, it's just some flatheads again. So take these screws off. 
Okay. First thing I could kind of see in there is there's so many wires in there. I don't think I could take this switch out without removing this one, so I have to take them both out. And you commonly face this when you're working on things, that things may not turn out as easy as you think, and it may have to, you just kind of have to do it step by step. So we're trying to remove both of these at once. You can see how many wires are in there. And we do actually have some black and white wires, so this is not knob and tube wiring. And the wires may be pretty stiff, as you can see, they're coming out very difficultly, and I just kind of took this out by accident. So now that I get everything out, I can kind of see what's going on with this box here. This box is not an original box, it was installed uh, after the wall was constructed. It has these little tabs here. It's actually, you just cut out uh, a hole, you insert the box, and then you, these little tabs move up and kind of depress against, in this case, the, um, the lath and plaster and hold everything in place. There's another little tab down on the bottom as well. And these things were never secured properly. So I'm gonna try to re-secure this box in here. They seem like they're still functioning. So uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can get this, this box uh, reset. Okay, so I, now that I got the box better secured, it's in there pretty good. I'm looking at these wires and it's pretty complicated in there. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. There's a group of hot wires here that feed this uh, light switch and also a couple, at least one of, uh, one of these light switches. Also other hot wires are coming in. Um, I'm not quite sure which one's connected to which. And so I went ahead and grabbed my multimeter here and set it to continuity so it makes a little beep when they're connected just like that and hopefully you have one of these and my main question is if the hot terminals here and here are connected uh, because the new the new switch I have has this little tab and currently they are connected so I if I touch this terminal and this terminal they beep if I remove this tab it breaks the connection and so two um, two hot wires can be connected, so two feeds. Or you could just have one feed and it would also feed this terminal. So I want to make sure to see if this side is connected. So I want to go with everything off, of course. And it is not beeping. On the other side, by the way, I'm looking at this wire. Uh, this wire is kind of loose too. Um, this side, they're not connected. So. So basically what I'm going to do is take off this tab since there's two independent hot feeds. So I'll go ahead and take some pliers, pop that out. Just like that. Take my multimeter and just double check to make sure that they're connected. They are disconnected now. Now I'm just going to unscrew these, unscrew these wires here, here with, with a flat head and just replace it exactly the way I want this. Make sure that this is not backwards, uh, so the off is in the off position. So I'm going to uh, connect this wire to here, this wire to this terminal, and vice versa. So that's what I'll do. So I don't get confused, I'm just going to go ahead and wire it right immediately.
Okay, so now that I'm done, I just want to, now I'm going to test this in two, two phases. I'm going to just uh, get all these wires away from each other, make sure that there's no none in contact, and I'll just uh, leave this exposed and turn on the power and just hit the switch before I put it in the box just to make sure everything's good. And then when I get everything back in the box and it's so tight with wiring uh, and you kind of have to push a little bit, I'm going to test it again make sure that uh, everything's good. But before I do that, one of the tricks that I like to do and that I recommend to everybody is just take, and this also works with receptacles, um, plug receptacles, is just take a little bit of electrical tape. Let me get this ground wire down so I since there's so many wires in there that can actually touch by accident, I like to just kind of wrap the terminals a little bit with electrical tape just to make sure that if they get a little too close that they won't cause a short. Now a lot of electricians don't necessarily do this, but, oops, got this wire out here, I'll fix that. But I'll do this one as well. All right, let's try her out. Wonderful, that one works. Um, back works. Uh, light works. Fan works. Okay, so everything works. I'm going to turn off the power and now carefully kind of maneuver all these wires back in. It'll take a little pressure to put them in, but as long as they're uh, organized well, I can get them in nicely and secure up the box. Alright, so what you want is first to try to get these things in, in a nice configuration. So they'll kind of the wires will fold over on themselves rather than buckle. Okay, let's turn on the power. Okay, let's give her a shot. It seems to work really well. well. I hope this little project helped you out. I'll see you next time.